Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to show you how you can modify existing animations that you have using Control Rig inside Unreal Engine. So Control Rig is this new animation and rigging system in Unreal Engine. Uh, there's a lot of neat stuff that you can actually do with it, including fully animating your character and even creating your own custom control rigs for whatever type of character you're working with. In this particular video, we're going to focus on modifying an existing animation. So it only takes a couple of steps and it will save you a lot of time instead of having to go back into, say, Blender or whatever 3D modeling program you're using to uh, import a previous animation and adjust it in there. Instead of doing all that, you can just do it in Unreal Engine using Control Rig. So first of all, I'm using the Control Rig Mannequin Project and you can get this project free on the marketplace. Uh, basically, it comes with the Epic Skeleton already set up with the Control Rig. That's what we have up here. We have Unreal Engine 4. Technically, you can use it with Unreal Engine 5. It'll work all the same. But what we're going to modify today is this running animation. So you can do this with any animation that you have, uh, whether you've downloaded it from the marketplace or from Mixamo. Uh, this particular animation is from Mixamo, actually. And the issue that I was running with this animation and the thing that I wanted to adjust with this particular animation is so you can see the character is kind of doing like this little running jog. The reason why I want to adjust it is because I'm actually using this for a first person animation. So I've removed all of the mesh except for the arms and basically I stick the camera right about here and the issue that I'm running into is that the character's shoulders are in the camera's field of view. So one way that you could adjust it is you could um, obviously delete the shoulders so it only has the forearms but but then you run into some more issues where you know you can't see part of the arm or whatnot. But a really easy way we can fix this with control rig is we can just drag the shoulders back or we can drag the body down so, so that it gets out of the way of the camera for my first person animation. And realistically you can modify whatever animation you want. Like for example, if you're if you have a weapon uh, animation idle where you, you know your character is holding a gun or something and the the hands aren't exactly lined up you could apply the same principles from this video and adjust the animation that way you don't have to go into blender and import the animation and do all of that stuff and then have to figure out what settings you need to export it back into unreal so really quick what we'll do is create a new level and we'll just click the default now all you need to do is click and create a new level sequence. So go down to cinematics, add a new level sequence, and you can just click save. Basically, this is like our timeline that we'll use to uh, keyframe the animations. And then what we can do is go into our content browser, control rig, mannequin, character, mesh, we can drag in our SK mannequin. And then in our sequencer, what we're going to do is select in our world outliner and drag and drop this into our sequencer. And you see a couple things happen. So we actually have the control rig on our character. And we can take some of these things and move it around. And you could create your own animations if you wanted to in here. Uh, but what we're actually going to do is undo that. And we're going to scroll up here and delete the control rig. So select the control rig and press delete. And the reason why we're going to do that is because we're going to apply our own animation. So first of all, a couple things that you need to make sure you do before you apply the animation is you want to make sure your your time cursor here, whatever it's called, is on 000. And then you want to make sure your character is in the resting pose or whatnot. Then we got our animation right here. You select that. I want to apply the fast run animation. If you've done everything right, you can see our fast run is right here. The, the sequence plays longer than the animation. So what you can do is take this red bar and move it to the end of the animation frame just like so. So now what we can do is we can select our character and we want to select it in the sequence, right click and bake to control rig and use our mannequin control rig. Then what we want to do is click this reduce keys. Um, this will make it a lot cleaner in the sequence with all the keys. 
and then we'll click bake to control rig and so what that just did is it just added all of these little uh, keyframes and you can see we have the animation with our control rig so now what we can do is we can go into the individual controls and we can adjust things like I said before I want to pull the shoulders back what you want to do is select the control that you want to adjust so maybe I want to actually grab the body control and then what you want to do is scroll down here under your mannequin control rig and find the name of the control that you have selected so I have the body control right here and then what you can do is you can either delete the existing keyframes or you can add your own on top of that so I'm just going to delete the existing and then I'm going to bring the arms down like so uh, so previously my camera is positioned right about here and really I only want to see about this much of the character's arm I don't want to see the shoulder in the frame and so to keyframe this animation you just have to click this little dot and that will keyframe the animation for the full length so now we can play it you can see here our character is crouched but it really doesn't matter like I said this is for a first person animation really you can do whatever you want with whatever animation that you have the example that I gave earlier was if your character is holding like a weapon and the animation wasn't necessarily made for that weapon model what you can do is you can modify the animation to move the character's hand placement to be proper uh, to that weapon mesh once you've done the necessary keyframes what we can do is go ahead and bake this animation so you can select your SK mannequin here and then scroll up here and click bake animation sequence so make sure that obviously your time frames are correct there so that doesn't go over the animation time so I'm drag this little red bar to line up with the end of the animation then here we can just select uh, where you want to save it to in this case we can just save it to our character mesh folder click OK and then click export to animation sequence you can see it just finished exporting that so we can click open then you can see my modified animation here kind of looks weird like I said it's for first person animation I can show you the end result here in this little game that I'm working on if I hit play you can see the running animation here uh, before the shoulders were in the way so what we did was we just adjusted the animation to move the character shoulders down so really you only see the hands when you're running you're playing the running animation so yeah you can like I said you can obviously apply this to a whole load of different animations that you have uh, just a really easy simple way that you can modify any sort of animation that you have uh, really quickly and export it so that you can use it in your games so yeah really quick video hope you guys learned a thing or two let me know if you have any questions down in the comments down below and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.